Okay, so today we're going to look at how to get Vue.js installed. So I'm running Windows 10, and specifically I'm working with the Linux subsystem. The steps that I lay out today should work if you followed my other tutorial to get your environment set up. And they should be roughly equivalent if you're running a different Linux distribution, or if you're running on macOS, though you might have to change some things slightly. So to get started, I'm in my VS Code environment here, and I just want to start a bash. So again, you could do this from a standard command prompt. I'm going to do this within my text editor here. So just run bash. That starts up our Linux bash. And the first couple things that I'm going to want to do, it's the same steps you take whenever you um, want to install a new package. So I'm going to run sudo apt get update. And this is just going to update all of the repositories. So we'll let this run. All right, now what I want to do is run sudo apt get upgrade. And this is just going to upgrade sort of all of the packages that I have uh, to the latest versions, make sure that there's sort of no conflicts with uh, what I'm trying to install here. So that's done now. So the next thing that we're going to want to do is install build essential. So we're going to type sudo apt get install build hyphen essential. And this is just going to install a package that's going to be required in case it's not already there. So I'll just clear out that console. The next thing that we want to do is actually install NVM or Node Version Manager. So in order to have Vue.js working, we actually need Node.js and Node Package Manager installed. So there's a number of ways of doing this. The reason that I like NVM is that it allows you to manage multiple versions of Node on the same machine. It sort of take care takes care of any conflicts that that might typically create. So there's a couple of ways of installing this. The easiest way, in my opinion, is to run this command here. So we're going to use curl, uh, which is essentially going to run the installer script located at this URL. I'll put this link down in the description so that you don't have to type out um, this exact uh, link here. And then we're just going to pipe it into our bash command. And so running this should install NVM um, from the GitHub repo. Okay, so that doesn't take too long. And now if you try running NVM as a command here, let's say just look for the version of it, um, you're gonna see that the command's not found. The reason that this is happening is because we have to restart our terminal, we have to restart our bash in order to have this sort of registered. So what we're gonna do is you can just kill the terminal here, pull another one back up, in case you're wondering, command tilde or control tilde uh, opens up this terminal on in Visual Studio Code. So that's how I'm doing that. So I'm going to type bash, open it up again here. And now if I go nvm.v, you can see uh, that's running. So the next thing to do is actually install node from nvm. So in order to do this, what we'll type is nvm install stable. This is going to install the most recent stable version of Node and of Node Package Manager. Okay, so that just finished installing. So now what we want to do is actually tell Node Version Manager which version of Node we want to use. And so to do that, we're going to type nvm use stable. This will say now using node version 12.2.0. It tells us which NPM version we're using as well. And now when we run our node or our NPM commands, we'll actually have the correct versions running. And so just to you know validate that this is working, if you type node dash lowercase v, you should get the same version number that we saw above. Same thing, if you type NPM uh, hyphen lowercase v, you get 6.9.0. 
which is what we just installed here. So that's great. We can now actually install view. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to run npm install, and then we're going to pass in hyphen g. This just installs it globally so that you can sort of access it from anywhere. Um, and then we're going to type at view forward slash CLI. So what we're trying to grab here is the Vue.js command line interface. And this is going to allow us to easily create projects um, and work with Vue. So if we run this command, Okay, so now that that's done, we actually have everything installed that we need. So um, to take a look at this, what we can do is run view dash uppercase V, and you just see some version number of views actually been installed here, which means that things are working. So just to finish things off here, I'm gonna run the command view UI. I get this pop-up dialog box here that uh, tells me that Windows Defender firewall is blocked some features. We don't want that to happen, so I'm actually going to allow this on private networks, allow access. And then you can see that we're ready on localhost 8000. So if I just open up my web browser here, and I go localhost 8000, you can see the view CLI, and specifically the view project manager, is running. So if you got to here, it's perfect. View is all set up on your computer. The last thing that I want to talk about are plugins for the text editor uh, that you're using. So specifically, because I'm using Visual Studio Code here, I want to show you that there are some extensions that we might want to use. And so if I just go over to the extensions and I search for view, you can see that there's a whole ton of different um, plugins to use. The one that I'm going to use is actually this uh, feeder by Pine Wheel. So I'm just going to open it up. I'm going to click install. That's going to install it. What this is going to give us is syntax highlighting, uh, sort of debugging tools, um, auto completion, you know, that type of thing within Visual Studio Code. So it's certainly not necessary, but it's going to make programming with Vue a lot nicer to do. So I'll let that install here. You can do the same. But at this point, you should be ready to start building Vue applications.